In today's video, I will show you how to make this cool YouTube intro using CapCut. What we're gonna need is background video, text and a logo or an icon, depends on your wishes. So enough talking, let's get started. You can find a free intro video background if you go to pexels.com, then change here to video and search for intro. You will find some different ones and when you find the one you like, just hit download. Jump over to CapCut and create a new project. Because I already have one background on my computer, I already imported it. Click on plus icon to drop it down to the timeline. Found this cool twisted fireball and if you wish to have it, I will leave you a link in the description so you can download it. After that, go to the text and add the default text. Write what you want, for my case I'm going to write my name. I will resize the text and make it wider, so it looks a little more cinematic. I will also add a white glow effect to it and reduce the intensity to around 33. Now I want to position the text where the smoke is somewhere in the middle. When you find the right position, right click and make it compound clip. That way we can mask the text in the next step. Move your playhead on the beginning of the text on the mask tab choose horizontal, rotate the line to 90 degrees, pull the arrow a little bit to the left and then pull the line to the left side till you don't see the text anymore. Now we have to make a keyframe to our masking position. Go to the right side and click that diamond here for the position. Move your playhead forward so the smoke is almost at the end. Now grab and pull the line to the right, so you reveal the whole text. So if we play it now, it looks something like this. Next step I wanna do is add some effect to our text. Let's go up to effects, go down to glitch and find effect called fuzzy. Grab it and pull it down to our text. And because I don't want effect on the beginning of our text, I will pull the start of the effect a little to the right, so it starts a bit later than the text is revealed. And as you know, the video is nothing without the sound, so we will add some glitch sound to it. Go to audio, sound effects and search for glitch sound. Click on plus to drop it down. Now I want to match our sound effect to our glitch text effect. If your sound effect is too short, you can always duplicate it. We could also use some slogan below our text, but in my case I will add a YouTube icon. If you don't have a social media icons, you can always find them on pexels.com. I've already imported the icon before, so drag the icon above your text. Resize it to your likings and cut it to the same end as our text. I also want to add animation to the icon. Go up to animation and choose the one you like. I will use the fade in and set the duration to 0.4 seconds. I will add the same fuzzy glitch effect as we did for our text. Let's shorten the effect a bit and cut our background to the same length as our text and the YouTube icon. Because I need a little longer video, let's go up to media, library and add a black stock video to our timeline. Let's add one more video effect, this time go to opening and closing and find TV off effect and place it at the end of our text and icon. And at the end we'll add our last sound effect. Go to audio and search for shutdown sound. Click on plus sign to drop it down to the timeline and we are done. Let's check it out. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching.